Welcome back, soldiers, to Robot Ray Channel. Today, we embark on a journey through the annals of history to uncover the tactical brilliance of some of the greatest military minds the world has ever known. From ancient empires to modern conflicts, these legendary generals have left an indelible mark on the art of warfare. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more incredible videos. General Number 10. Alexander the Great, Conqueror of the Known World Alexander the Great, a Macedonian king, is celebrated as one of history's most legendary military leaders for his unparalleled conquests and strategic brilliance. Born in 356 BCE, Alexander inherited the throne at the young age of 20 and embarked on a relentless campaign to expand his empire. With his army of highly trained soldiers known as the Macedonian Phalanx, Alexander swept across vast territories, conquering lands from Greece to Egypt and beyond. His most famous victories include the battles of Gagamela and Issus, where he defeated the mighty Persian Empire under Darius III, solidifying his reputation as a master tactician and military genius. Alexander's military campaigns reshaped the political and cultural landscape of the ancient world, earning him the title of Alexander the Great. His innovative strategies, including the use of combined arms and rapid maneuvers, revolutionized warfare and laid the foundation for future military tactics. Despite his untimely death at the age of 32, Alexander's legacy as a conqueror and visionary leader endures, inspiring countless generations with his unparalleled achievements and indomitable spirit of conquest. General Number 9. George Washington. Revolutionary Commander-in-Chief. George Washington, revered as the father of the United States, emerged as a legendary military general during the American Revolutionary War, leading the colonies to victory against the formidable British Empire. Born in 1732, Washington's military career began during the French and Indian War, where he honed his leadership skills and gained valuable combat experience. As Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army, Washington faced numerous challenges, including limited resources, inexperienced troops, and harsh weather conditions. However, his strategic brilliance, unwavering determination, and inspiring leadership rallied the fledgling American forces and sustained their morale throughout the grueling conflict. Washington's strategic acumen and bold decision-making were instrumental in securing pivotal victories, such as the battles of Trenton, Princeton, and Yorktown which ultimately led to the defeat of the British and the establishment of the United States as an independent nation. His leadership during the Revolutionary War earned him the admiration of his contemporaries and solidified his place as one of history's greatest military generals. Beyond his military achievements, Washington's commitment to democracy, unity, and the principles of liberty laid the foundation for the American Republic and cemented his legacy as a true visionary and patriot. General Number 8. Erwin Rommel, the Desert Fox Erwin Rommel, known as the Desert Fox, rose to prominence as one of Germany's most formidable military leaders during World War II. Born in 1891, Rommel gained recognition for his strategic brilliance and tactical innovations as a commander in the Afrika Korps, leading German forces in North Africa. Renowned for his bold and audacious maneuvers, Rommel earned his nickname, the Desert Fox, for his ability to outmaneuver and outwit his adversaries in the harsh desert terrain. His lightning-fast armored assaults and surprise attacks inflicted heavy losses on Allied forces, posing a significant threat to their control of North Africa. Rommel's military prowess and charismatic leadership made him a revered figure among both his troops and his adversaries. Despite his allegiance to the Nazi regime, Rommel was respected for his chivalry and adherence to the principles of warfare. However, his fortunes turned as the Allies gained the upper hand in North Africa, and he faced defeat at the Battle of El Alamein. Forced to retreat, Rommel's reputation as a skilled tactician remained intact, and he continued to serve on the eastern and western fronts until his involvement in the failed plot to assassinate Hitler led to his forced suicide in 1944. Rommel's legacy as the Desert Fox endures as a symbol of military genius and tactical innovation, leaving an indelible mark on the history of warfare. General Number 7. Subutai. Genghis Khan's Greatest General. Subutai, often hailed as Genghis Khan's Greatest General, was a brilliant strategist and military leader who played a crucial role in the expansion of the Mongol Empire during the 13th century. Born in 1175, 
Subutai rose through the ranks of Genghis Khan's army, demonstrating exceptional skill in warfare and tactics. Renowned for his unparalleled understanding of battlefield dynamics and his mastery of the art of war, Subutai led the Mongol armies to victory in numerous campaigns across Asia and Europe, earning him a reputation as one of history's most formidable military commanders. Subutai's military campaigns were characterized by lightning-fast maneuvers, surprise attacks, and innovative strategies that overwhelmed and outmaneuvered his adversaries. His tactical brilliance was instrumental in the Mongol conquests of China, Russia, and Eastern Europe, where he employed a combination of psychological warfare, siege tactics, and coordinated cavalry assaults to achieve decisive victories. Subutai's legacy as Genghis Khan's greatest general continues to inspire military leaders and historians alike, underscoring the enduring impact of his strategic genius on the course of history. General Number 6, Saladin, Defender of Islam Saladin, known as the Defender of Islam, was a legendary military leader and statesman who rose to prominence during the Crusades in the 12th century. Born in 1137, Saladin emerged as a unifying figure for the Muslim world, leading the forces of the Ayyubid dynasty against the Crusader states in the Holy Land. His military campaigns, marked by strategic brilliance and tactical acumen, saw him reclaim Jerusalem from the Crusaders in 1187, a victory that solidified his reputation as a champion of Islam. Saladin's leadership extended beyond the battlefield, as he governed with fairness and compassion, earning the respect of both his allies and adversaries. His chivalry and magnanimity toward defeated foes, including his humane treatment of prisoners of war, earned him admiration even among crusader leaders. Saladin's legacy as the defender of Islam endures as a symbol of resistance against foreign invasion and as a paragon of virtuous leadership in times of conflict. His impact on the history of the Middle East and the Islamic world continues to be felt to this day, serving as an inspiration for generations of leaders and scholars. General Number 5 Julius Caesar, Conqueror of Gaul Julius Caesar, one of ancient Rome's most illustrious military commanders and statesmen, earned his place in history as the Conqueror of Gaul. Born in 100 BCE, Caesar's military career began with his service in the Roman army, where he quickly distinguished himself through his strategic prowess and leadership abilities. In 58 BCE, Caesar embarked on a campaign to conquer Gaul, modern-day France, a feat that would become one of his most remarkable military achievements. Over the course of several years, Caesar waged a series of brilliant campaigns, defeating Gallic tribes and expanding Roman territory to the Rhine River. Caesar's conquest of Gaul demonstrated his strategic brilliance and military genius, as he employed innovative tactics, such as rapid marching, siege warfare, and diplomatic maneuvering, to overcome his adversaries. His victories in Gaul not only solidified his reputation as a formidable military leader but also enhanced his political standing in Rome. However, Caesar's rise to power ultimately led to a power struggle with the Roman Senate, culminating in his famous crossing of the Rubicon River and the eventual establishment of himself as dictator of Rome. Despite his controversial political career, Caesar's military exploits in Gaul remain a testament to his unparalleled skill as a commander and his enduring legacy as one of history's greatest generals. General Number 4. Genghis Khan, Founder of the Mongol Empire Genghis Khan, the legendary founder of the Mongol Empire, is renowned as one of history's most formidable military leaders. Born as Temujin in 1162, he rose from humble beginnings to unify the Mongol tribes through sheer force of will and military prowess. Genghis Khan's strategic brilliance and innovative tactics enabled him to conquer vast territories, stretching from China to Eastern Europe, and establish the largest contiguous empire in history. His military campaigns were characterized by lightning-fast cavalry raids, coordinated maneuvers, and ruthless tactics that struck fear into the hearts of his enemies. Under Genghis Khan's leadership, the Mongol Empire flourished, fostering cultural exchange, trade, and technological advancements across Eurasia. His military conquests reshaped the geopolitical landscape of the medieval world and left a lasting legacy that continues to influence global history. Despite his reputation as a fearsome warrior, Genghis Khan was also a visionary statesman who implemented administrative reforms, promoted religious tolerance, and laid the groundwork for the Pax Mongolica, a period of relative peace and stability across Eurasia. 
Genghis Khan's legacy as the founder of the Mongol Empire endures as a testament to his unparalleled military genius and his transformative impact on world history. General Number 3. Hannibal Barca, Architect of the Alps. Hannibal Barca, the Carthaginian general, is revered as one of history's greatest military strategists and the architect of one of the most audacious military campaigns in antiquity. Born in 247 BCE, Hannibal inherited his father's legacy of enmity towards Rome and vowed to avenge Carthage's defeat in the First Punic War. In 218 BCE, Hannibal launched his famous invasion of Italy by crossing the Alps with a formidable army, including war elephants, a feat that astonished his enemies and cemented his reputation as a master tactician. Hannibal's military brilliance was evident in his strategic maneuvering and innovative tactics, such as the use of ambushes, encirclements, and psychological warfare, which inflicted devastating losses on the Roman legions. Despite facing overwhelming odds and logistical challenges, Hannibal achieved stunning victories, including the Battle of Cannae in 216 BCE, where he executed a double envelopment maneuver that annihilated the Roman army. Hannibal's legacy as the architect of the Alps and his daring exploits in the Second Punic War continue to inspire military leaders and historians alike, underscoring the enduring impact of his strategic genius on the annals of military history. General Number 2, Sun Tzu, author of The Art of War. Sun Tzu, a legendary Chinese military strategist and philosopher, is best known for his timeless treatise, The Art of War, which has influenced military leaders and strategists for over two millennia. Little is known about Sun Tzu's life, but his profound insights into warfare have earned him a place among history's greatest military minds. The Art of War, emphasizes the importance of strategy, deception, and adaptability in achieving victory on the battlefield, offering timeless wisdom that transcends the boundaries of time and culture. Sun Tzu's teachings have been applied not only in military contexts but also in various fields such as business, politics, and sports, underscoring their universal relevance and enduring impact. His emphasis on understanding the enemy, Exploiting weaknesses and maximizing strengths continues to shape military doctrine and strategic thinking to this day, making Sun Tzu's The Art of War a timeless masterpiece and Sun Tzu himself an immortal figure in the annals of military history. General Number 1. Napoleon Bonaparte, Master of the Battlefield. Napoleon Bonaparte, the French military genius and emperor of the French, is renowned as one of history's most formidable military leaders and the master of the battlefield. Born in Corsica in 1769, Napoleon rose through the ranks of the French Revolutionary Army with remarkable speed, showcasing his tactical brilliance and strategic acumen in numerous campaigns across Europe. Napoleon's military campaigns were marked by boldness, innovation, and decisive victories, earning him a reputation as one of the greatest military minds of all time. Napoleon's military strategy was characterized by rapid maneuvering, combined arms tactics, and a deep understanding of battlefield dynamics. His famous victories at Austerlitz, Jena Arstedt, and Marengo solidified his status as a military genius and established French dominance over continental Europe. However, Napoleon's ambitious campaigns eventually led to his downfall, as his empire crumbled under the weight of overextension and coalition warfare. Despite his ultimate defeat at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815, Napoleon's legacy as a master of the battlefield and a transformative figure in military history endures, shaping the course of warfare and strategy for centuries to come. And there you have it, soldiers, our countdown of the top 10 famous military generals and their strategies. These legendary leaders have shaped the course of history through their unparalleled tactical brilliance and strategic acumen. Their victories on the battlefield have inspired generations of warriors and continue to influence military doctrine to this day. Join us next time as we delve deeper into the world of warfare and uncover more stories of courage, leadership, and strategic genius. Until then, stay vigilant and salute to the great generals of history. If you found this video fascinating and informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Robot Ray channel for more incredible explorations. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep on exploring.